Hi, my name's Ken Truman. Welcome to another DCAC video. Uh, today we're going to be tying the uh, uh, freshwater shrimp. Uh, variations in colour vary a lot. Uh, pink's a popular colour for grayling, although none of them were pink until they cooked. They're not big enough to eat anyway, so uh, they vary from grey through through to light brown uh, in general. So you can vary the colours and the uh, the scud back uh, to suit your own situation or your own liking. So the uh, the hook is a Camasan B110 size 10. Okay. Need a bit of weight, it's uh, shrimps live on the bottom. So half a dozen uh, half a dozen wraps of lead wire. An old pair of scissors. Just to snip the waste off. It wants to be about central on the hook, about there. Now, to get rid of these, uh, to get rid of these steps, or help get rid of them, I'm going to use floss. Uh, any colour, your choice. I've got uh, black UTC 70 in the uh, bobbin holder, so that's what I'll use. I'm going to trap the thread in. This will help to secure the uh, the lead wire in place. I'll snip that off. Don't use any super glue. You can vary its sizes from eight are good. You get more lead on an eight. With that, I'm gonna, uh, that's better. So, I'm going to build the thread up at the back of the lead just to help try to get rid of the uh, the steps. Uh, if you spin the bobbin anti clockwise, it'll flatten the thread a little bit. That's all right, and front. Tie that off now. We've got rid of the steps. Snip the thread off. The tying thread I'm actually going to use is uh, it's an eight L thread in brown. You can use if you want. You can use whichever thread you want. Uh, eight L's good. Snip the waste off or break it off. Now because we're going to be working at the back of the hook, normally I'd just tilt the vise, but if I tilt the vise it'll go out at camera view. So I'm just going to tip the hook up because we're going to be working on the tail end of the fly first. Oh, the tail fibres are uh, bronze mallard want about uh, 8 or 10 doesn't really matter fibres the only one to be short but don't worry about that at this stage and just uh, pinch and loop tie them in a couple of wraps adjust them to only about quarter of an inch that's 
that's all you need. Snip them off. And we need some. Uh, we need some wire. I'm going to use copper wire. Use whatever colour you like. About four inches, so you can get hold of it. Tie that in. I'm just going to tidy up. And I'm going to tie the uh, scud back in. This is. I've had this for a lot of years. Uh, you can still get it body flex. It's. Uh, this is by Lure Flash. I don't think they're in business anymore. And it's it's uh, the clear one. Comes in several colours. Green, red, black. Uh, I've had this for years, so I'm not sure that you can buy it anymore. It comes on a backing card, so if you can see that, I've cut a point on it while it's still on the card to tie it, make it easier to tie in. I'm going to still tie it in while it's still attached to the card. Make sure it's in the centre of the hook. Come back down to where you tied the, the tail in. And you can take the card off. Discard that. The dubbing is a mixture of grey seals fur and pearl glister. I mix mine in a little coffee machine, cost about a tenner I think from, from Amazon or um, because it's seals fur and it's not seals fur that it, as it used to be when well, they used to go around killing all baby seals and used to get proper seals fur but, um, so I'm going to use a bit of wax Not it, it will take a lot to do in this fly we don't put too much on at once and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to straighten the hook in the vise so I finish working on the back of the fly I'll try not to break the thread <laughs> that's probably caught on hook point so I'll tie it on again don't panic Mr. Mannering. Back down to where we were. If you notice, when I do the dubbing, I've turned the vise 90 degrees just to keep it out of the way at up point this time. Be quite quite thick. A bit more. Let's help if you wet your fingers a little bit. can be a bit rough and ready with this as you can see it does take a lot of dubbing just make sure we cover the lead up Pull everything back Before we uh, go any further, I'm going to tie the front 
fibers in legs feelers well, the same amount but these want to be a little bit longer bronze mallard again don't worry about the length at the moment pinch and loop one turn adjust the length I like to put a couple of turns underneath just to lift them up a little bit stop them masking the eye you can trim them off I'm going to uh, use the favourite velcro and a lollipop stick and just brush the fibres down Gonna, we need them to a resemblance of legs I'm going to fold the scud back over make sure it's in, in, middle of, in the middle of the hook I'm going to two turns because I might have to let that go just to hold it I'm going to bring the, lead, bring the uh, copper wire up even turns if you can under the scud back one turn you let go it don't, it'll not move now a few turns and you can uh, just put a bit of tension on bobbin you can break that off and I like to just put a few turns trap this in and then a few turns back to make sure it's not going to come out Turn it off as close as you can. And just form a nice small head. And we finish. Does just give it another brush with varnish. And I like to trim about there. There's one in there. And the legs at the uh, legs at the underneath. Not so, sorry. I'm old camera then. <coughs> and all that remains is butter varnish. That's just finished. It's done rivers, you fish with lakes if you want, but it's a river fly with the lead on them. You can put more lead on or less lead. Uh, so until next time, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.